episode was surprising, to say the least. The reason why I say this is because when I originally read the synopsis, this episode really bugged me the wrong way. The idea of Rainbow Dash trying to stop Winter so Tank doesn't have to go into hibernation, I felt like it was going to be another one of those episodes where she's being unbelievably selfish and don't really care about the repercussions of doing this could bring. And during the beginning portion, it does seem like it goes in that route where she is being selfish trying to stop Winter, and hell, she makes no progress whatsoever, so she decides to take it to the source and try to stop Winter from coming in Cloudsdale, which has probably a really funny scene, which, you know, Rainbow Dash going through the entire factory and stuff like that, which I'm not the only one who's reminded of the second level of GoldenEye, right? You know, where you destroy those tanks and stuff like that in GoldenEye 007 on the 64? I don't know, weird comparison, I know. However, if I'm going to give it this episode anything, we actually get our first Rainbow Dash solo song, which is a pretty damn good song, though in some cases it's kind of pointless because her song really leads nowhere when it comes to getting rid of Winter, which I guess is supposed to be the point? I, I don't know. And finally, we have that scene where she's cr where she's basically at her house and Fluttershy drops the bomb on her, basically saying, you're going through Winter petless. And Rainbow Dash bawled out crying and to be honest i can't blame rainbow dash for feeling this way i mean i i'm a pet owner myself i've owned multiple pets so i can understand her emotion for not wanting to see her pet go for a while she's like you know like how am i supposed to deal without my pet it's like before she didn't care about having a pet now that she does have a pet she really can't stand the idea of not wanting to be without tank and it's an understandable idea and understandable thought process if you really think about it all in all, this episode has a couple of good moments that I would definitely say it makes this a really good episode. The beginning is a little awkward, I won't lie, but as the episode progresses, it does get better and better, and it does lead to Rainbow Dash becoming more and more relatable to the point that she actually breaks down, which honestly, I felt for her. I felt really bad for her. And Fluttershy's character, hell, every member of the main six was on character, besides Twilight, who was being dumb for some reason, and I have no idea why that was. So all in all, I think for me this is a good episode. I don't know where I would categorize it as of right now. I'll probably, you know, when I do my vlogs, I'll come back to it later. But as of right now, I like this episode. I think they avoided what I thought they were going to go for, and I think this is a good episode. And that's my speed impressions of Tanks for the Memories.